So we looked at a sketch and we've actually used the sketch to cut this shape out of a block. Um, I'm just going to click on this one, hit delete and get rid of it entirely. The other thing that you can do with sketch is make shapes basically. So if I just click on here, um, I'll go onto one of these. This is, allows you to make polylines so you can just make basic shapes. This gives you curved sort of shapes. Um, they're both a little bit difficult to use but I'll just quickly show you this. So once you select it, you click first on the uh, grid that you want it to be at and if I click on there I can then uh, go ahead and make this I can make a sort of Christmas tree shape or something like that or just use zigzag so I'm just clicking where I went, want the point to sort of go from okay so I can go around like that I'll come back a wee bit and pop that down there like that move across I don't know what this shape would be used for, but let's just say you wanted to make a piece of lightning or something like that. There we go. And that is a shape. So I'll press enter. There's my shape there. It's then a matter of what do you want to do with it. You can actually change these points, which is quite good because it means that you can actually um, get in there and modify it somewhat. It does some kind of odd things. Later on I'll show you a better way of getting good shapes in here. But again, once you're in there, you can do the normal thing. So I click on it, that's my sketch. Then I go into Extrude, and I can extrude that up. There we go. Press Enter. Good to go. And if I want to move that off, click off it, click back on, Control T to move. And just try and remember that you're always going to be left with the sketch afterwards. And you can delete it if you want to delete it afterwards. I'll leave that one there. We'll look at some other stuff that we can do with this shortly.